All right, so this is it. I have been here once. Okay. Many a year ago. Yeah. I was blown away by it, but I never had enough time. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if I met someone who knew what they were talking about? To yeah. Tell me what this space is. Sounds like a good idea. Because it's incredible. So thank you so much for offering no, your time. Everywhere you look, you will see a nice car or a detail or anything that links to a car. But okay. the place is so big, right? we will have to take a car. And not anyone. Okay. We will take this car. Are you serious we're actually taking this I one? I am serious we are taking this one. <laughs> this is your <laughs> tour bus. For now it is. <laughs> Feel free to hop in. <laughs> it's, it's we will get this started. Okay, so we're literally going for a tour in an Alva. As you do. How else would you want it to be? <laughs> Okay. We go? We go. We go. I'm gonna I'm gonna strap in. I never <laughs> thought I'd need to do that inside a building, but it's instinct. Whoa! Nice cold start. Do you know this is better than an open top bus, isn't it? I think so. Fabulous. Okay, so which way are we go? We're going right. I think okay. that's the best view for now. Alright. And then we will see where it heads us. So how big is this place? It's actually seventy-five thousand square meters. Square meters. Where we use every single square meter to the max with car dealerships and everything around it. Right. So we're going past appropriately a McLaren dealer. That is a working McLaren dealership and one of the biggest ones in Europe actually. because we actually have one of the biggest service centers right next to it. In the same building? In the same building. Crikey. And so, what was the building? Because it's beautiful architecture. So actually, this is an old factory home. You can okay. see that's that. The Deutsche Bahn, so the German railway, had this in the 1920s, from the 1920s actually, and serviced steam locomotives inside this building. Okay, so it's always had something to do with transport. Yes, it did. Just and now it a little does bit faster until this point. So um, we actually decorate the hall with that scheme, uh, with that scheme of uh, steam engines. You okay. will see later. Yeah. Uh, and today's use is the conference and event stuff, and of course the car uh, dealerships. So what we're going past here is not too unspecial. Okay. I think we should mention it. Right. There's written Bugatti service. The Bugatti service center There's in this building. Yes. There as is. well as McLaren. McLaren. As well as a Ferrari dealership. <laughs> Upcoming is a Ferrari service center. Right. That will be the biggest in Munich. Are you serious? And then we will have classic car dealerships, muscle cars, everything American and British. All literally all under one roof. Under one roof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mind-boggling, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> So, and this was one founder's vision? Yeah, that was a vision. So, he was always into cars. Um, the money didn't come from, from cars directly, mm -hmm. but um, when he had enough of that, uh -huh. he decided to build old properties into really new event locations. Sounds like a legend. And combine this with his passion of cars. So, Motorworld has its own collection of cars as well? It does. Wow. There's a few cars in that, as you can imagine. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and we use that, uh, these cars for every type of events and stuff around this building and always have a little bit of an exhibition. Uh, so every visitor can uh, see very special cars and the uh, exhibition rotates. So you come here twice, you've never seen the same thing. Actually, it's yeah. always changing. Yeah, it's always changing. And so if you were to book an event here, can you, can you make the cars part of the experience? Um, actually, we can, but uh, on a visual standpoint. So. Is that what, a car lift? That is a car lift. This and is going up and underground. One of three car lifts. Three car lifts. Three I car mean, lifts. of course. Why, why do you want? <laughs> okay. And how much of the infrastructure here goes underground? Everything, actually. And we will expand, so there will be more to see underground than above. Maybe not for the, for okay. the visitor. Okay. But uh, in general, from a square meter point of view, there will be more below. Casual group C car, just chilling. Casual 962 with race history. Yeah, just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I love this guy. Well, this actually has been used in the past uh, for, yeah, just normal work okay. on the construction site, but it's been uh, in a very good um, condition, so it's been restored to be basically a new car. You can see the price tag. It's a it's a German VW bus. So it's a real working service vehicle, but it's like period correct. If you want it, we could just build it up, bro. Everything works. So cool. <laughs> There's car lift number two. Car As lift you two can here. imagine, yes. you can drive into every event location by car. Okay. Not the conference rooms, obviously. The size of it. Yeah. The size of it. I mean, That's over there we're scratching two hundred meters. The surface, aren't we? Yeah. So this, you can this is blowing my mind. It yeah. has an array, as a storage array. So. Is this a mixture of cars for sale and storage or purely private people storing cars? You fit it spot on. The basement 
is um, our boxes used for selling cars. Can we just stop there. Yeah. That's rare. That is crazy <laughs> rare. R33. Yeah. Upcoming, 14th of April, we will have our first season event. I will plan those with okay. my colleagues and we invite everyone from the car scene to join us here. We have 15,000 people. 50,000? 15? Okay, 15? one five. Not, not, okay. Not, yeah, not to be uh, <laughs> Well, everything is so big here, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, they have the opportunity to drive through the hall. Oh, and right. the next theme for April, for the season start, is JDM Cars. Actually. Actually. So that event's the 13th of April. The 14th of April, Sunday. That's my birthday. See you there. Perfect. <laughs> you've, got go. a, you've got a spot to celebrate. <laughs> so actually, the glass boxes, we have 111 in total of them. Okay. And this is the biggest glass box facility in the world. We have the world record. How it works is, you have one empty turret. Actually, we can just go yeah. towards that, um, where the casual uh, one of two Ford GTs and this uh, tower is positioned. Right. This car will rise up to the very top then every other box that is below the one I need uh -huh. can just move to the side and make space for the one to go down so you drive out evenly. On I the did wonder how it worked. It's a little bit of Tetris, but I, I thought about it's that. a very great <laughs> but expensive Tetris. But it's beautiful, huh? Yeah. I mean, as a display, it's outstanding. Yeah. How quickly can a client access a car? Do you phone within, if you just give them 24 hours, you say, I, I would like the car out no. tomorrow? No. No? Actually, you have access to this building as a client 24 7, free. 65. Actually? Yeah, actually. So all year round, you get any key, time of the day. You go in, you get your car out, you go for a drive. Actually? Yeah. So you don't need to phone anyone who's from the building? No, you can just oh, that's awesome. make everything yourself. I like that. Yeah. It takes a little time to get the car down, maybe right. for the for the SLR 722 at the, sure. at the very top. That's the, the most uh, like hidden box okay. of these. Um, it will take like three minutes for it to go down, but... Um, I thought you were going to take, like, it's going to take me an hour. Three no, minutes? No, no, no. Wow. And well, I was about to ask, I mean, but now it's three minutes, it's kind of out of the way, but I was about to ask, do they get stacked in, in priority of how often they might get used? But three minutes, you don't need to take that into consideration. No, no. I really not. thought you were gonna actually be like, not. yeah, give it a few hours or whatever, but. You're a customer, you come to me, I tell you this one is free, you I'm put the car in that. and we are safe. I'm impressed with that, wow. Okay. I like this tour bus you've got going on here. This yeah, is, yeah, 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 yeah. I it's, think it's uh, it is above average. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got all sorts in here: boats, Barabbas boats, yeah, no less. And how we get them up there is uh, we have to flood the whole hall. And <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> no, there's a big crane and very, very right, much right. involved in that, but we will manage. <laughs> Brilliant. Casual Lamborghini yeah. Ducati? Not Should very much. And it's the 63 edition, okay. hence 63 bikes in the world, I guess. I yes. Don't yeah, quote yeah. me on that, but I think, I think someone told probably me. right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mentioned the uh -huh. uh, steam engines. Yes. Over there, they are cranes, very yes. big cranes, uh -huh. and they uh, actually stayed. So, these are the cranes that lifted the trains and their parts apart. Wow. Yeah. It must have taken some serious uh, uh, infrastructure and investment to get this place to where it is now. Yeah. Just based on the sheer scale of it, but then the quality of the fit out is exceptional. You will be surprised, surprised though. Yeah. Um, it took maybe 10 years to build. Wow. And we are open for now ongoing three years roundabout. Are you serious? Yeah. It took 10 years. It took 10 years. Okay. In my point of view, only 10 years, because the first time I stood in this building, mm -hmm. there was a tree in the garage. You're kidding me. There was <laughs> no, a tree I'm, growing in the ground. There was a tree growing inside there and a massive one. Casual 9923 yeah. RS there. We actually have prominent um, users of those glass boxes. Uh -huh. um, maybe he wants to be mentioned. It's the uh, king of Thailand. The king Royce. of Thailand just keeps his Rolls Royce up there. Yeah. All right. Next. Whenever <laughs> you're in Munich, right? Just pop in. Yeah. Several guys do this. Um, I think you can relate. If I you think so. uh, like a place, you have a car there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this is uh, very good for burgers and pizza. Okay. You have to try. All right. And if you look over there, uh -huh. there is the Japanese kitchen. Um, which is very, very high class. I think you... I think we should stop by here later. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Alpine dealership, Triumph dealership, casual upside down, formula cars. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we wanted to show ground effect. Yeah. How, how do you that show is a ground great effect demonstration. on a parked car? There you, go. you do that. This is by far and away the best tour I've ever had. Actually, one of my all-time favorites there, a nice Carrera GT. So when's the CGT coming to your collection? Every, everyone's asking me. I'm asking myself the same thing. How much is that one? Do I have to remind you? 
V10. I get, I get reminded Man every Euro. day, every Remove day. Remove the dude. roof. Naturally aspirated. <laughs> Never to so be made race again. Engine. I know. You can find it. Well, AMG One maybe yeah, coming AMG to the one. collection. Oh really? AMG One. Several will, cars will be here. Will so. be in this building. Yeah. Wow. As do. And yeah, we are not too short of bikes. So You're if not you like short bikes, of bikes. You come here. So, th so uh, what I'm picking up on here is a general celebration of mobility. Yeah. It's not just it cars. Is. We've seen boats. We've seen bikes. And we've seen cranes. Have you seen the plane? <laughs> no, not seen the plane. We will see the plane. We'll see the plane. <laughs> All right. Awesome. And if I tell you the plane can turn into a car and into a helicopter, um, my plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Yeah. You don't have a nice car and you come here. Mm -hmm. We can change that. Not okay. by buying a car, but by renting. NATO green, maybe? Oh, that is that is possible. possible. I don't know the exact well, color code, but... There's a 992 GT3 be. that you can rent. There's a Vantage with the new front end. They're not available for rent, are they? But for sale. But for sale. Okay. So, we have just a little selection of the hypercars that we store and sell. We've got a new Countach. New Countach. 3.1 million. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Technica. <laughs> Technica. One of our 000. collection could be yours. That's very um, nice. That's a nice spec, what actually. Is that's an exposed carbon body it V12 is. Speedster. It is. That's rare. It's great. It's that really is great. very cool. And I love wow. to drive that one. It drives very, very smooth, and I like that. Almost 1.4 million. Yep. All right. Is it, so, this line's getting more expensive the further we go down here. Special one. You might be yes, familiar. This is a V600, V600 Roadster. Roadster. I guess one of five. Or is it seven? You're right. Below 10. Below 10. I think that's great enough. Is there any <laughs> info on there? Anyway. One yeah. by three. Um, yeah, and, that's ultra um, rare. And a casual it's Valkyrie. It's a big brother. Okay. Um, that is a Valkyrie, yeah. 3.3 3 uh, million euros, sir. Nice spec on that one. It's that's, very great. That is like the gold cool. details. Yeah. yeah, very, very nice. Wow. Well, let's see when this sells, what else will be okay, here. Okay, so you have, up, you have upper floors and underground floors. Yeah, I think we should uh, park the car and okay. go up, I guess. That sounds good. Is that a D-type just sitting there? To be honest, yeah. it's a replica. Okay, but, but still it's there. Nevertheless, it's okay. great to drive. All right. And uh, yeah, this is uh, how we go around on the weekends when we are going to a nice. Is restaurant. that a Maybach Landale? That is a Maybach Landale. Right. I think ninety nine produced. Yeah, super yeah. rare. The V twelve Vantage there. Awesome spec. Yeah, awesome very spec. cool. All right, With the AMR trim. Let's go, Let's man. This up. That was that was a good that was a good tour. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing them as well in these kind of cars. <laughs> it's easy to exit as well. All right, cars parked. I think we should have a look from above. Okay. So how much of this is above ground and how much of this is underground? Well, underground, there's actually more space, I would say. Than more above. than above ground? Yeah, we, we have to uh, yeah, accommodate our visitors. Uh, when they built this place, they had no idea how great it was going to be for a garage, did they? <laughs> <laughs> was was used quite on the opposite level. Crikey, now you're up here, do you see the size yeah. of this thing? So th this is the original infrastructure here? It is, it is. And this, I can tell you, can lift a lot. It looks like it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, from here, you have the best view. Mm -hmm. That is a like gathering area. That is our biggest event hall inside of Motorwell itself. We have several other ones placed around this building. Okay. So the whole square is 75,000 square meters. Um, but uh, in there, you can accommodate more than 2,000 people on ease. Through those doors? Through those doors. We can have a look if you want. Sure. And um, to accommodate them while they are going in or registrate themselves, they will be here and this have is, the best view of this Motorwell. This is highly cool. It is. This is, it is highly, highly cool. Do I trip myself. Get, do you ever get bored of being here? I mean, it's... No. Maybe, and as well, it must be changing all the time. It is. So, you have different um, to-dos every day. It, do, it doesn't uh, stay the same whatsoever. Okay. And if I leave on Friday yes. and come back on Monday, I go, wow. this is here? This car has arrived? When? Where? Where is this coming from? So, no, it doesn't get bored. What it, whatever, no. <laughs> I was just informed that we... <laughs> Missed a McLaren F1 by one day. Yeah. So, thanks for that. <laughs> one of the things I am genuinely interested in, are you quite... <laughs> this place is great. <laughs> That's classic Michele. <laughs> Fantastic. It's totally thrown me off what I was about to say, but that's a great example of people taking out their cars. Yeah, it is. So he wants to go for a drive. <laughs> Yeah, he really wants to go for a drive. <laughs> so good. <laughs> By the way, it's like minus five outside and it's snowing and he's got his roof down. Yeah. Good, good land. <laughs> it's the best place for petrol heads in the world, isn't it? <laughs> so cool. So you, I guess the word is quite selective or 
specific in the companies that you allow to be here? Because you could probably fill this space with like double glazing salespeople, right? Sure. But everything sure. has a theme. Yeah. It is, we have to fit in while standing out. So if you present a boat, it better be Brabus. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to bring something, it better be cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the okay. theme. Okay. I like it a lot. Well, here we come to our wind hall. Mm -hmm. I think we should have a look from the second floor because right. that uh, can bring over the scale a little bit more. So it's going again, it goes up again? It does. That was a bit of a nerd for exposed concrete. Really <laughs> for real? Yeah. No, 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 really. I think it's, just, it's got a really cool like, industrial feel to it. That's I great. always tell people it's ugly because really? it's just to have to flee from fire. I like it, man. <laughs> I like it. Oh, man. I think I should turn on sound lights, right? You are not joking. This is... And you wouldn't see it. It's huge! You wouldn't see it. So... You could hold a football game here. <laughs> Kidding um, me. We, we will. <laughs> we will hold a football game here. You will hold here. a football game here. <laughs> Not an actual one, That's but an amazing a public space. Style. This is even good for concerts as well. So it's all second not concert. Not kidding. Hall. I yeah. mean, look at the AV setup here. <laughs> the lighting, the stage, you've got a massive projector screen. Yeah, you Backstage can do everything. through there. And you can bring cars up in the yeah. lift and you can put them here. Sure. Car launches. Even that. We had uh, actually the, the launch of the new BMW series here. Did just you? this week. This week? This week. You've done a good job of cleaning up quick. <laughs> Those guys <laughs> don't play around. They bring a lot of gear. <laughs> and we can accommodate like uh, auction stuff as well. So Armin Sotheby's was here. Okay. When they are in Munich, yeah. they come to us. Do they? They do. That's cool, right? We had quite the special cars here. I bet. What's the big inflatable air tube thing? That is for, for heating and cooling. That's <laughs> just hidden behind, so there's no visual tech. Right. I, didn't, I genuinely didn't expect it to be this big. No. I mean, we've already seen a lot of big building here. And everything is remote controlled. Off your phone. Yeah. Lights, curtains. The whole building. Everything. You can do everything. It's funny, there's one thing controlling a home with a phone, but this space is a different thing. Well, it's a big home. It's a big home. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very big home. <laughs> I don't know. I like the concrete thing. It's, yeah, it's cool. It, it, it's cool, yeah. But you have to decorate it. There has a, to be a lot. detail. Yeah. Well, this is another part of the business. I told you we do conference. Yes. We separated our conference rooms into two segments. Train station because of our heritage uh -huh. and raceway because of what we do now. Okay. If you want to have a look inside our room, yeah. they are all decorated to the max. And this one is pretty neat, I think. <laughs> oh wow so you've got all these themed rooms this is awesome you've got all these themed rooms so you can just come and rent one right for sure for sure to hold up a meeting these are sparkle seats comfy they get you working so you've got set dressed sparkle bucket seats for sure I like the detail <laughs> it's highly cool is that a sliding door from the front of a train it is to hide your TV yes because you want, you want to have the, the old rusty feel and don't want to look at the tag, you can do that. And from the oh, market look at rooms, the view. Ah. <laughs> I wonder who is in this, in this room <laughs> to work for now. But yeah, you will have a look uh, on our cars from pretty much every angle of Model World. That's a solid office view. Yeah. I would like an office like that. That's it's just pretty uh, cool. You can just get distracted. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't get much work done, would yeah. you? Particularly when people are taking in and out their cars and starting up Lambos. We have clothing curtains if you want to be no, keep, keep lame. Open. <laughs> keep it open. So we see a lot of graffiti. Yeah. We had this made, okay. but there was actual graffiti when this place was a lost place. Okay. And we left that because it gets character inside the building. Cool touch. Ooh. Is that then? That is them. Yes. This is how the building looked before we were here. Are you kidding me? I'm That's kidding how it you. looked? Yeah. We had a tree in the basement, as I said, so it was like growing out of there, did its own stuff. You put a new floor in? Yeah. Complete concrete floor. It's a massive middle. job. That is very big, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, a question. How many steps do you do a day? Oh, <laughs> that really depends, <laughs> because every day is, is different. So okay. maybe I'm in the office more often, yeah. or I'm just running around this building and in total chaos. Okay. <sighs> Maybe 15,000, <laughs> maybe 20 sometimes, and maybe it gets up to 30, it's just... Depending yeah. on what's what. Yeah. Tell me you've got a little scooter to get around on. I don't. Oh, <laughs> mate, you need one. But um, we were in just one a particular vehicle, oh, which we oh, use. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's, in, that's impressive. Now that's a view. 
That might be the best view in the house. I love that. It probably is. And with our own events, when we allow our guests to drive through the building, yes. you have to stay here because you will see every All car that's coming, coming and leaving. Yeah. April 14th. April 14th. <laughs> You're invited. We can celebrate here. I'd like, I'd like to cars. be here for that. That sounds good. <laughs> we could bring a car. That'd be great. You have to bring yeah, a car. Yeah, we could bring a car. It'd be awesome. <laughs> we could drive over, road trip, and then boulevard. For sure. Let's do that. And this isn't a, well, this is a plug. Oh. But there's our Racing Unleashed sim partner upstairs. You've been here before. We have been here before. We have a race sim over there. Yep. And an airplane simulator. I mean, do you know, just. Keep and the medical coming. center with a doctor you can visit. All right. And everything depending for, for, for physio. You drive here in a, in a car that has a very uh, stiff suspension. Yes. You go here and go get here. a massage. <laughs> and a hotel. <laughs> and a hotel. And a hotel. In which you can drive your car inside of the room. So you will never leave your car out of sight. You can take your car inside your hotel room. You can. Or your bike. You can or your bike. <laughs> what do you have to do with all these cars mm -hmm. that are around here? is here to have to fuel them up, right? Okay, yeah. So we built a fuel station inside of this hall. <laughs> it's not working, I'm just it's kidding, but uh, <laughs> that is an event location you can rent. And we mostly have our buffet and catering stuff. You've on got this like these sort of sets everywhere. Yeah. You know, they're sort of procured areas with Come different here. themes and sets. It's very cool. Come here and have 10 different Instagram pictures. It, I like this. GT2 RS there, Sport yeah. Classic. The oh, King's yes. Car. King's car. Maybe casual. something up your sleeve. Yeah. DB4. Nice. Yeah. Julia GTA. Rare. 8C. 8C. Very, very good sounding car. Should have been I manual like though, right? Don't yeah. Think? Yeah. I'm yeah, a gearbox I agree. is a bit of a letdown. Yeah. I haven't driven one before, but no. it's like kind of the Maserati power It's better to listen to than it is to drive, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Schumacher. Schumacher. These Schumacher. are real helmets. Th Maybe th these are actual helmets. These are actual helmets. Some of them are crew helmets. Not gonna lie. Right. But they but are some real. Some of them are used helmets by the drivers you can see. You've got a Fittipaldi and a Hunt there, James Hunt. Actually, the Hunt son of Frenson. James Hunt has been here last year for the start Very of, cool. uh, of our events. Right. And he drove an R34 that really? was owned yeah. and driven in the movie by Paul Walker down this alley. You are kidding. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> wow. That's going to be one of the most iconic skid lids. Schumacher's 97 lid with yeah. the stars on top. Yeah. That's magic. While we are at Schumacher, mm -hmm. we are planning to do a public viewing regarding okay. Formula One. Okay. We want to do this in the big hall, uh, right in the center. And we actually own a Schumacher F1 car from 1994. So the first, <laughs> okay. first victory season yeah. for the World Championship, it's going to stay on that turntable actually. and make some noise. When is this happening? April this 14th, ha right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually happening the okay. uh, 2nd of March. The 2nd of March? Yeah. Not long. Okay. That sounds like a date to add. Of course, of course. Is that something, do you buy tickets for that? Or do you just turn up? What's the, how's turn that up, work? Have fun, turn up, have get fun. something to eat and drink, and have fun. You heard that, <laughs> 2nd of March. F1 noises. Brilliant. It's gonna be deafening. Can't wait, <laughs> can't wait. Okay. That's a substantial truck, what's that all about? Oh. Uh, yeah, Kassenberg Kenworth. We use okay. that for all kinds of events. Okay. Um, if there are truck events, we will, we will bring this. Mm -hmm. You can present a car on the, on the loading dock. Okay. Now the hold, it's... Yep. It's in repair, yep. um, but uh, for now it will sit here. It's like a little memory piece for Model World. I think you can assume, or if you look at this uh, truck, mm. you will connect it to Model World Munich. Absolutely. It's funny, you probably wouldn't appreciate the scale of that if it wasn't for the, it's carrying another truck it's on the huge. back of it. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> boats. Yeah. The boats. We can't walk past the boats. We can't walk past the boats. Now I'm next to it, it's absolutely massive. You wouldn't believe. The hall is so big. They look that small when they're on the first floor, but... There's a serious that's stuff. A cool, that's a cool photo, isn't it? We had this uh, this year before. Really? Um, this was so huge, we had to put two different ones to fill the space again. <laughs> wow. But yeah, that is a serious bug. That's it's cool, you. To, cool to be at high height with these now. Liquid carbon series for GT. Not too many of those. And really. It's nice to have some top downs on <laughs> the STO. You don't get to see this. You don't get often. to see that. You can appreciate when it's the sculpture of it totally differently. Yeah. I always look at that roof scoop and I think, oh, why is it not working? It's not really a roof scoop, <laughs> is it? It's a bit, yeah, shame. Man. Well, let's get to here. Okay. That is fun. You will love this. Because this everybody like loves this. a new bubble car. Yeah. Okay. It's Micolino. Right. It's a Swiss-based company. And they took the design of the BMW iZ. Uh-huh. 
put an electric motor in it. Right. And and uh, just normal steering rack, so you don't have like electrical steering or something. There's nothing in it. There's no ABS. There's no stability control. Right. You just have an electric motor and a steering wheel, and the front opening door. Brilliant. And every I can I promise you, yeah. everybody loves you. Policemen. Everyone loves you yeah. in this car. It's cable car drivers. Yeah. Not cable car. What what it's called? <laughs> like um, uh, tram drivers. Tram drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tram, tram drivers. Tram drivers. I've driven one of these. Really? They gave me What's it like? thumbs up all the way. Is Everybody is smiling. Everybody <laughs> loves you, and you can't get out of the car without getting into a conversation. Really? You have immediately new friends if you buy this. <laughs> <Immediately> <laughs> new friends. <laughs> I mean, just to look at it, it does make you smile. It's yeah, quite yeah. cute, it's, isn't it? It's tiny. So, I mean, obviously, it's designed as a city car, like yeah. perfect to just rock up and park and leave. Yeah. They actually say it's not a car. It's no. something you use to go. It's like a pod, a transport pod. It's a, it's, a, it's a little transport vehicle. I like it. It's not you a could car. use one of these around here. Yeah, for sure, we do. It's just <laughs> unpractical if you go have to go out again and you have a passenger. You have right. to climb over the passenger. <laughs> and if you want to go through the elevator doors, yeah. ah, that's getting That's it. Maybe two Legends, 507 next to a 300SL. So cars. you just keep these things tucked away. Like How, how much of this is um, collection owned versus customer owned? Well, I can say that in the detail, but Customer owned are basically all the cars that are in flow one to three. Okay. And all this down here is uh, inventory stock. Wow. That's a 962 we walked past earlier. Actually a ground effect car in which you can drive on, on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually cool. We have to cover this. Go on. So, how much do you think this car weighs? This car in, in there? Yes. Oof. I'm going to go with... Uh, 400 kilograms. It's 75 kilograms. Come away. 75. 70 this is the record holder for the longest distance driven in one electric charge from 100% to zero. 2,600, and I have to look at it, uh, 2,573 kilometers. They drove in, in that one thing? go. Yeah. I don't know if I'm more impressed with the car or whoever drove it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's, it has to get boring because I they mean, went in a circle all the time. Oh, did they? Yeah, they did. Oh, I see. I oh, did, even worse. I, I don't want to be the driver. Are you kidding no. me? In a circle? Yeah. And if I told you that these were students who made it. That's cool. That's really cool. That's impressive. But I do not uh, envy whoever had to sit in there for no, that long no, no. in the circle. We don't want to change. Forget we it. We need corners and mountain passes, not, uh, not the circle. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so we're going underground now. And you're telling me that underground is bigger than above ground. We can have a look at everything. Sure. But basically, yeah. So special stuff downstairs. Special stuff. We like that. Special level. <laughs> okay, seamless transition. Yeah, one basement down. In the bar, one. Are there more down? Well, no. Okay. I would love to say yes, but okay. I but think no. we'll have to, to go with this. So is this accessible to public? Is that a Well, actually, a thing? at this moment, yes. Okay. You can park your car in here because if you are a hotel guest and stuff, I see. You will okay. be parking your car here, but it will be closed for public in the future because okay. we have more stuff rented out. It's there are more special cars. Yeah. Okay. It's basically the same scale as above and a little bit more. But it's a different perspective seeing it just uncut, just totally yeah. empty. And we have it all for ourselves. And the, quite a lot of these are hotel guests. These are rental cars. Okay. So if Check you need a car, GT4 to go RS, on, cool. Casual. Casual. You just pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Look your okay. appointment. Go here. And drive yeah. 24 RS. Wow, this is, this is absolutely huge. Isn't Behind it? these doors, uh -huh. they're not here at the moment, but this is our car wash. Okay. So if you are a hotel guest, you have a dirty car, you want to oh, visit a nice restaurant in Munich. Brilliant. Look at drive that. it here. Get it clean. Oh, it's big. It goes deep. We can we can go with super supercars in there if you need. Mm. So everything's being thought about because I can see the transition ramp to the uh, car wash is graded yeah. nicely. We have super to, low to cars. Have very low angles, so sure. we don't. Hit yeah. So the Amaron is the is like the in-house hotel. Yeah. And exactly. they're the guys that can facilitate putting your car in your room with you. Exactly. Okay. Well, this is the hall of, of the secrets of Motor World. I like it. Dodge. Casual wiper. Yeah. That's where it gets cool. A12 TDF. Oof. I think you have to love that. It's one of my all time. You had one before, right? I did. I ran a TDF for like four years. And, and why did you sell it? Uh, I, I needed the money for some projects. So. But you don't sell this. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Well, it's a wrap. Uh, below, I think it's dark blue. Right. Which 
what I, pre I would prefer, okay. but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, um, at the time, well, it was, it was the beginning of a lot of things which are yet to be announced, but you know, one of these projects was Koenigsegg, yep. Yep. right? So it was, a long, it was a slow burn, but... Um, We're working so fast at the moment. Yeah. We were talking about car rentals. Okay. We have one for supercars and sports cars. Okay. We also have one for classics. Classic car. You want to drive an E-Type? Go ahead cool. and drive an E-Type for the weekend. Yorkie and I just did a Miller Millia event in, in that? that car. It was actually an Alpha Graduate, which was specific mm -hmm. to the US market. Okay. But it was that car. They're cool. It was good fun. They're quirky. It was very And cool. everything is yeah. working sometimes, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where well, we keep this. our cars. Um, yeah. So, so you we keep can, extra cars down here. We can have a look at this anytime. Um, casual 300 SL with the nice. center lock wheels. You know, yep. they are rare. Uh -huh. And nice. yeah, a uh, 917 race livery GT3 RS. That's a conversation you had in your videos. Do you go with the GT3 with a wing <laughs> or with the Touring? <laughs> well, some gentlemen decided to get both. I would like to meet this person as well. <laughs> he sounds like a lot of fun. And this is where it gets a little bit secret. So in there's the, the secret stash. There's the, there's the secret big stash, stash in there. There's the big, we can talk okay. afterwards. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the, one of the first Rolls Royce that I've seen so far. Um, but not the last. Not the last. <laughs> so in here, this is secret, this is secret squirrel. This is secret. This is right up your street because you are quite familiar with the brand we start there. Okay, okay. Our VIP guests, when they need to have a lift from the airport, uh -huh. we shuttle them in a Rolls Royce okay. with a driver that is dressed as a driver should be. We've got to go back to the airport tonight. Oh, let's, enough. let's see what we can figure out. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it gets real. Yeah. Is that where we have to turn the camera off? <laughs>